Hello everyone, this is Scott from DailyExusion.com, and today I will be showing you how to configure the Fun Games theme. Fun Games is created by the creator of my arcade plugin, which is a very popular and very powerful arcade script for WordPress. Fun Games is the free theme that is included with all of them, and when it's properly configured, you should get something that looks along the lines of this. You'll have a slider, you'll have a slider up here you'll have advertisements and I'm going to show you how to get the multiple the different page layouts for the games here's what we're going to do you're first going to want to come into your general settings you can choose a template color scheme from blue red or pink or the default which is what I'm currently using which is a grayish blue you can change this or you can create your own by using custom CSS I just stuck with the default you can choose your sidebar position by clicking right or left your game category presentation will change the way that the categories on the home page are shown. For instance, you can show them as a horizontal, which is going to take up the full length of the page, which will go this way, displaying a long line of games like this. Vertical, which will go up and down. Half, which will do a mixture, it'll be half, it'll take up half the space. Or mini clip, which will take up what I have right here. It'll do two images and then it'll do four below and you can change this. Games per category box, you can set the amount of games that are shown. You have two here and you have two images that are shown for mini clip and then you have four that are shown below. This equates to a total of six per category box. I don't recommend doing too many as it will be as it will look very bad if you have a long list of games. If you have specific categories that you're not wanting to show on the home page, such as a blog post or redundant categories that you may not even be using, you can turn them off through here. I've disabled blog post, customize, and puzzle because there was redundancy between puzzle and puzzles. Blog category, you can select the category that will be used as a regular blog. I just did blog post as the default category. Use your login bar. You're able to set a login bar on your home page and on your game pages right here. It will allow your users to log in or register on your site. Rich Snippet allows your your WordPress post ratings plugin to collect the rich snippet information relating to the games. If you enable it here as opposed to the public and to, as opposed to the plugin, you'll get a dash games right next to the review. In my experience that actually looks worse, so I disabled it and used the default setting in WordPress post ratings. The next thing you want to do is you're going to come to your header and footer. Enable a custom favicon and upload one. The same will be done for the logo. You enable and then put a lo put a logo, not a URL of it for your, of your logo. Description and keyword status. Disable this and use your SEO plugin. If you don't disable it, your your plugin will alert you that you, that there is a something built into your theme and it will attempt to remove it or disable it. Custom header code allows you to put custom header codes such as tracking or meta tags in the header of your web WordPress site. In most cases you won't be needing this. However, Google Analytics is found to be more accurate to place in the header because it will load all requests, but typically you'll want them to lo load Google Analytics at the bottom of the page to improve load time. And if you want to use your affiliate link for the MyArcade plugin, you put your URL here and you can change the text to it. To configure your home page, you want to come over here and you could change the order of your games. Select how games you order on the front Random order may slow down your site because it randomly generates it and it makes it hard to cache. I recommend always doing descending. Contest context box contest box is only available to those of you who have the My Arcade Contest required My Arcade Contest plugin. If you enable it, you will have a new box. I don't currently have it, so I've disabled it. The Hall of Fame will show your your Hall of Fame scores right here. I've enabled this for my site. Sortable Games uh, box. You can come over here, and this is the Sortable Games. It's sortable because you can go by newest, oldest, and have a list right here. I've selected 24 games, which gives me four rows of six. You can increase it by changing this number here, or you can disable it entirely. I've also changed it to say Recent Games right here, but you can change it to whatever text you find necessary. You can activate a custom text box on your home page that will allow you to say, let's enable it. I'm going to say test. 
And what it'll do is it will add a text box. Typically, it should be right below all of the games. If I reload the page, we're going to see a text box. And you typically use this for SEO purposes, but I've never found it to actually be that useful. So I've disabled it on my page. You can enable or disable the carousel. The carousel are games that are selected up here. This is your carousel. I've selected a, these categories to be shown. If you don't select any categories, no games will be shown. If you want to select any all the games to be shown, just show the most recent, select all the categories. I've also enabled auto scroll. Game order can be descending or random. I recommend doing descending as it will load faster. Your game count is set to the default of 20. I've changed it to 15 to show a little bit less images on there, but you can increase it as well. The Nevo slider is the main slider on your WordPress site. You can change, you have to enable it and you can change what categories are shown. Very similar to the slider up here, if you do not show any categories, then nothing will be shown. If you want just the recent ones to be shown, select all categories. Ignoring your blog posts. Auto scroll, it will allow it to automatically scroll, enable or disable this to your liking. And the game order, I always do descending. Your game page is where all of your games will be shown. Your pre-game page is a game landing page where they'll click a play button. When enabled, you're going to have a different looking game page. They're going to have a new box that says play. So if I enable this and I go to my game, instead of it just automatically loading the game like I have it set, what it's going to do is it's going what's going to happen is I'm going to have this play game button. And after I click the button, then the page will begin to load. As you see, we've hit the play button, and it's done nothing for me. This is probably due to some configuration with my plugin, but normally when you do this, the game will automatically load. I've configured it, but when clicking the button, your game will pop up and load afterwards. This is great because you'll have an advertisement typically shown right here that will increase the uh, revenue or then in the click-through rate your embed box will allow people to grab embed code of your games if you're using a shared hosting I recommend disabling it because it may draw in extra requests that you don't need specifically because you don't own the games if you own the games enable the game embed box on those pages only display the great game screenshots if you want the game screenshots to be shown enable it here if there are no screenshots then you will see no reference to it on the game page your game video, if you want the if you want a video of your game to be shown, you can enable it. I recommend only doing this if you create videos specifically about games that you actually reviewed or played. It's a great way to get more views on your YouTube videos. The full screen button will allow you to set the games to full screen when playing. So for instance, if I come over to this game, I will be able to hit a full screen button which will should appear right underneath the game box. When hit, it'll put the game in full screen. Turn the lights on or off, we'll change this. And you can favorite the game to be added to your WordPress, uh, to your BuddyPress. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to the progress bar. The progress bar will automatically put a progress loading bar on all your games. If you want to display an advertisement beforehand, such as Epic Game Ads, then you'll want to enable it and then you'll have the option to put your embed code. You'll have a 10 seconds with zero second delay, game loaded, click here, and in your ad section you'll be able to enable this. If we come over to the advertisement banner, the pre-game, whoops, we can get the pre-game banner, we'll go here. It says 200 by 200, but if you do, you can change it in your theme options to do a 300 by 250, which is what I recommend. If you're doing the preloader page where you click the play button, you're, you're able to put your advertisement code right here. If you have a game and you want to put a 728 by 90 banner here, place your code here. However, if you're using AdSense, you must keep 150 pixel space between the ads. Therefore, you must enable this. The, ba the banner for your index page will only show on certain home page layouts, such as the horizontal or vertical, where it will, play, where it will display a game along, an advertisement alongside your games. 
this helps with your click through and this last page is just plugins that it recommends you having I don't recommend using sexy bookmarks as opposed you should be using a tool such as add this because sexy bookmarks is no longer actively updated it was changed to shareholic and it's just a really bad plugin I also write if you're not going to use third party buttons you'll want to configure them in your uh, theme files to show them instead of the sexy bookmarks this can be done fairly easily so that is all I have for you today, so thank you very much for watching the Fun Games tutorial. I'm going to be doing a whole series relating the, to my arcade plugin, getting it set up and creating your arcade site. If anyone has any plugins that they want to show it configured alongside it, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.